touchofmodern.com. What, what is Touch of Modern? Touch of Oh, Jesus Christ. The perfect gift for all the guys in your life. Uh, dad, husbands, brothers, uncles who are notoriously hard to shop for. Um, a lot of it is very cool and you would want. Right. Just like unusual stuff, you know what I mean? Like a husband or a wife. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Um, jaw-dropping tech gadgets and gear, home brewing kits and premium sticks. It has a whole bunch of different stuff. And what the, their big thing is like I guess they go around all over the place looking for cool shit and then they'll buy it. They put it on the site for a limited amount of time at a, like a pretty steep discount and then boom, it's gone. That sounds pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Touch of modern? Touch of my. I want to buy useless shit. It is, but there is like they have really cool watches. They had a cool basketball I wanted to buy. Mm. Every time you go to the site, it's like being a kid in a candy store. Mm. New sales literally launching every day. Go to touchamodern.com. Q. You're gonna like some of the stuff. Um, yeah. This is the this is the when you you don't have time to shop for cool gadgets. Well, they got cool wallets. So you go to Touch of Modern, and that's where you're like. All right. You know. Oh, they sell beef jerky? Tactical gear? Yeah, all right. I can tools. see it. So I have 50 bucks here. Star Wars cufflinks? Yeah. I see what you mean. Like, just fun shit. No essentials. No essentials. Just stuff that's kind of fun and unique. I'm in. That's touchamodern.com. Yeah, yeah, I would definitely check it out. I mean, there's definitely uh, some it's of at least one thing you want on there. Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's Bri here to tell you about Creaky Studios. Go ahead, Bri. Tell them all about it. I will, I will. So, Creaky Studios, if if you're going to be a podcaster, and I mean, come on, who doesn't want to be? You can learn one-on-one with the only guy we trust with our sound, and that is Declan. Declan is offering some professional courses here. This is like going to college on the internet or whatever, man. You know how people do it. Uh, But this is one-on-one with Declan. I mean, most people don't survive. They end up at the bottom of a peat bog, but you're doing it on the computer. You don't have to meet them in real life. Uh, His first course is the beginner to intermediate. That starts on July 25th, and that's going to cover podcast recording, podcast repair, and publishing it, which I guess means putting it up on iTunes or SoundCloud or wherever it is that people put their podcasts up. Much too important to be bothered with that kind of thing. Uh, and then there's a second course, which starts on August 15th, and that covers advanced repair, which we've needed on quite a few occasions, and Declan's been the man. Um, editing, music, and FX, and also uh, promotion and building an audience. So... God damn it, I don't know how much these courses are. I didn't write it down. But you can find out. Go to creakystudios.com backslash training. And you can start talking to the man himself about how to get your podcast out there and crush lesser podcasts like, I don't know, say I sell comics. It's true. I guarantee it. Creakystudios.com slash training. One-on-one with me. Last night, Walt, I went to go take in the theater. Oh, my God. Would you wear platforms for King Playco? Jeff, would you join a nude curling league? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Tell him, Steve, Dave. Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of Tell him, Steve, Dave. With me, with Walt, with Q, and with a special guest. Who's Sunday, Jeff, so don't click off. It's not getting him again. <laughs> <laughs> They're, they're, just for proof, so just say something so everybody knows that we're... Howdy! <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds very similar to get him. That's why I said uh, it. Q, you and I uh, went over to Surf Taco. We walked in on a very interesting conversation about when and Walt and uh, <laughs> Jeff, their respective bedtimes. Yeah. I was surprised by Walt because in my mind, Walt has always been an up all night till four in the morning guy. Right. And I've learned that this has changed, huh? Uh, yeah, my, my sleep patterns have been changing as I, I guess maybe because I'm getting older. Mm. 
Um, also, I'm not really working on anything at the moment, you know, like artistically. So maybe I don't know if that's the reason why. But yeah, I'm usually falling asleep around one o'clock, um, which still sounds, you know, like a, like a party animal compared to Sunday Jeff's uh, bedtime. Ten thirty. Mm-hmm. It's about right. Ten thirty, eleven now. Uh, now he's boasting because earlier, <laughs> yeah, early, I, earlier I heard ten. <laughs> Sometimes you fall asleep at Trying to squeeze in half an hour on me, son. Oh boy. Who's that? Oh. Yeah. Thank you, Surf Taco. Oh, no Would problem. You like to say anything? Um, come to Surf Taco in Red Bank. All right. Killing it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. How much did that ad just cost, Surf Taco? Yeah, you owe us 500 bucks. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, you owe me money. I owe you money? Yeah. You owe me, what, $247. How did we arrive? <laughs> Here's what happened. This amount that I'm aware of. Uh, well, Princess Mitch, um, there's been an outpouring for the for the bills with these cats, and at uh, one of the recent Tenderloin shows, a fan, the cards at my house, I forget. She's a very nice lady. I'll get the card to you. In the card was a hundred dollars for you, for Princess Mitch. Wow. Now I was in Atlantic City, and I thought, hey man, I'll be a pal. I'll gamble that hundred. I'll turn it into like five hundred. Really help out Princess Mitch. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it turns out not only did I lose the original hundred, but I lost like two hundred and like forty seven dollars on top of that. So I'm gonna need that two hundred forty seven back from you. Or I know there's a GoFundMe thing for Princess Mitch. Uh, When you get that money, I I think you should really because I did try to win you that money. I think think the veterinarian should be second in line. Where is that? How do I fo- – am I, am I not following that logic? That sounds I, don't like- I think he, he did something that he wasn't supposed to do. That's that, what it sounds that, like to me. Is no. that the 2016 version of the shell game? I, I can't figure that out. <laughs> I know there's this phantom fan that somehow gave me 100. And, 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 and I never Well, saw that it. I have the card to prove. I have the card to prove that part. Plus, I wouldn't lie. Yeah, but why would he be responsible for the money that you gambled? Because I was gambling it on his behalf. But what, that, what, had, without his – Because if he had won the money, he would have gotten all the money. What game did you play? Uh, originally, I tried um, roulette. No, not roulette. Sorry, three-card poker. That wasn't going too well. So then I went over to uh, craps and mm-hmm. uh, really went bang, got banged out on craps. You know. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I still don't know. I still don't know how Brian would be on the hook because for the money Because if I had lost. won the money, he would have had all that money. So he's got to – I mean, at the at the very least, you should just be giving him a hundred out of your out of your own pocket to cover what you what stole. A, what an ama- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I don't see it that because that's going to make that's going to make other um, listeners what? never ever let you be the middleman to give me and Brian cash or gifts. If you're I'm, going- I'm more afraid that if. <laughs> That people are going to start claiming they gave it to Q and that we now yeah, owe them said, money. Yeah, you set a precedent here. If you give him money off of this, I mean, who's to say he won't pull it again? Well, you guys have to understand that, you know, I had very good intentions. And if I had won the money, you, I, you would have the money. So if you, let's, say, let's, say you tur- let's say you turned it into 10 grand. I would have given you would have all the ten. You would have given the whole thing. I would have given him every dime of it. Yeah, every dime. What if you had lost ten grand? When I really <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I wouldn't have known enough. I mean, look, I'm not unreasonable. I stopped at 240. <laughs> exactly. Dollars. Yeah, like there, there was there would definitely been a cutoff where I was like, I can't expect Princess Mitch to cover this. But I just thought since I was betting you a hundred dollars on your behalf, and then I kept going in an effort to win you money, you know, I chased it for you. I chased that dragon for you. Hey, Sunday, Jeff, how many cats you got? <laughs> just got two more. Which brings a total of what? 40? Five. Oh, five. Four. Um, Forty. <laughs> <laughs> um, tell Brian. Tell Jeff. Mm-hmm. The in the condensed version. Right. The the saga of Princess Mitch and uh, how much money can one man spend on one cat? What do you and, think? And then add two hundred and forty-seven. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go How ahead. much could it be? Yeah, it's, take a, I know my, medical bills. My brother's dog swallowed um, a, a, a ball, and it was almost fifteen grand for them to do the surgery and everything else. So it, it's it, it's almost. He wishes his cat swallowed a ball. Yeah. yeah, he wishes it was fifteen grand to pull a ball out the other side. Yeah. How did that ball get out anyway? 
operated. Oh, I just had to open yeah, it up. They, they, they C-section? I don't know how they did it, but <laughs> gave birth to it. It's, it's really no different than, I guess, you know, they have animal hospitals. They go through the same procedures, you know, put the animal to sleep and, and, and do whatever I guess they got to do. So it's so, – well, well, first off, what did – What was the matter with the cat though? Yeah. I never even know was – I didn't even know he had a cat. Yeah, I have two cats. Uh, she sw- They think that she swallowed uh, like a hard piece of food or something like that. They say it could be foreign object, but that's unlikely. But it scraped her esophagus, mm-hmm. and then that got infected, and a hole formed, and then an infection, and all this li- uh, fluid called chyla started filling up her chest cavity. So they had to go in and. Um, Open up her chest and take all the tissue out, all the uh, the fluid and that shit, and they and that was like fifty fifty chance she'd make it, but she kept producing the fluid. So then they had to go in a second time from the side. They put a uh, tube in her. Gate some. Well, she had tubes in her. Like she was in the hospital for a month. So she they, looked like uh, an instrument that you play, like some sort of newfangled living. Musical instrument. She had so many tubes sticking yeah, out of her. I was right? going to play her on the street corner for coins. <laughs> <laughs> Grand total. They gave me a five thousand dollar professional discount for whatever reason. <laughs> so even after that, I think it came out to around close to thirty. My God. Yeah. Thirty G's. That's a, that is the cost of a, a luxury. Vehicle. Is the cat all right though? The cat is. Yeah, she's doing well. I mean, the it's other a down cat payment keeps, on a house. Yeah. It's a down payment on the house. It's it's a car it really? in cash. Oh, yeah. Sure, ten percent on three hundred thousand dollars house. Yeah, it's a car in cash. Yeah, but you, which I was going to buy a car this summer. Now it's not yeah, but you so would great. still have to pay a mortgage after you know. So you can't use look at it as like you're going to get a house if, if you didn't have to pay for that cat. So. Oh yeah, car. I'm just saying like relatively. I didn't think I'd live in a home like a real person. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to get uppity. <laughs> No, I'm just saying, you can't I thought I was a cat's pet. You can't look at it and be like, well, if, I, if not for that cat, I'd be living in a house. You know, you can't right, say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But you could. You can't because, I mean. He's so fucked up in so many other ways. <laughs> but, I mean, you, you could say that, like, if not for Princess Mitch, I'd have a new luxurious car. Yeah. Yeah, or whatever. I mean, or at or, least air conditioning is what I have now. <laughs> Wow. Um, yeah, that's – yeah. uh, What do you do, Jeff, as an owner of uh, – Your, your little girl – well, first off uh, – I got five, so it doesn't – you know, it's like half the times you don't see half of them, so. What does that mean? Sunday – so <laughs> I could take one and make it disappear and you never know. <laughs> well, then it would be four, <laughs> right? <laughs> what is that? Is that what you, well, I don't, I don't no, know where we're going here. Is that what you should – is that what Brian should have made one of them, made his cat disappear? Nah. Nah, he did the right thing. Well, if you, let's say you want your two of your cats come down. It depends down. on you the situation, pay that, you though. Pay it that depends money? if if it's something that's if if the animal could be helped, and I know there's a good percentage a chance that it could have a good quality of life after whatever procedures mm-hmm. they need to have done. Then yes, if it's something that's if it's like not really a good chance, but you do it and you do it and you keep on doing it, is it for your sake? Or is it for the animal's sake that you're doing it to keep it? You know, it's it's mostly for you because you don't want to let go of. I think you it's know, all for you. Yeah, but I'm saying you know I wouldn't if I knew my my pet was suffering and I've been I've had many cats I've seen I've had a cat with leukemia I have a cat with diabetes we were giving her injections all the time of insulin that we I mean and do she ever, got about. Do you ever stop and think like why do I keep buying these unhealthy? She pets? doesn't buy. No, 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 no. Actually, I can't complain. All my cats have been actually really good. Should I shop? You stop know? shopping at the discount cat barn. <laughs> no, it's, actually, it's like cute. She finds my wife finds cats that are just you know that are either abandoned or you know it's it's not like we go to a pet store and get them. So you're uh, you're on record as like if the bill was if you had a, a thirty grand bill coming down the pipe. No, let's not go. It. <laughs> there's got to be a threshold. I mean, it also so depends Brian on how. Brian passed surpassed your threshold. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, he's when it comes to that. I guess he's he's like definitely bed, more sentimental than I would be. Bedtime vet bills, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> regardless. <laughs> well, it, it's really it's Sage's cat. Yeah, um, and not that I wouldn't you know have gone the distance if it were me, but it's it's just a different story when it's a kid. But what I would advise you to do is. Uh, Get pet insurance. I do. I have them on two of the cats. Yeah, the other three don't. But it's <laughs> don't merit it. You know, I guess it's my my daughter's already went through it already. She's already lost two cats, so she's you know she's now prepared. I don't know if, if Sage has ever gone through that, but no. it's you know they become very attached to them. I mean, do you think it's maybe you should buy something like a goldfish to help prepare her for the inevitable when uh, with dealing? That's going to happen eventually. Well, she has the betta fish, so. Betta fish. What's yeah, that? I like that. Uh, 
what was that Japanese or Siamese, fighting, Siamese fish. fighting fish? Yeah. Oh, so you have an aquarium at home? No, I have a fishbowl. It, it can it can live in a fishbowl. He doesn't need a. It doesn't need. It just needs lives on in a bowl with no with no torture apparatus, like that creates oxygen for it. Eric? No, he doesn't need it. Really? No. How long's it? How long's it live? I don't know. He's lived a while. I had one for three years, but that was in a tank. Oh yeah. yeah. So yeah. she so so but has she ever dealt with the the loss of a pet? No. So maybe like so maybe just like a cheap goldfish just to uh, just to kill it. Yeah. Well, no, don't like, feed it for it. Well, I'm not saying kill it immediately, the but you know it doesn't last that long. So you know you buy it as an exercise. Yeah, I think the attachment, though, between a cat and a goldfish is going to be a big difference. Yeah, you're right. I no. should probably just find a stray cat, bring it home, strangle yeah. it in front of it. Choke it. <laughs> <laughs> Put a pencil on its eye. This is what dead looks like. <laughs> so you're tell- are, you, are you telling me that a, a person cannot get attached to his foot fish? I don't and think feel, nowhere near the same, the same as compared to a loss? nah, not to a dog or you're a talking to a Sunday, cat. not get them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't think, I think that. that I, I think we'll hear some much to. I just don't think there's the really contrary. attachment. I mean, it's like you really can't do anything but just visualize, you know, a fish. You you can't like sit there and take them out. You know, it's like uh, what are you going to do? It's it's only there. It's for just like watching purposes. You can't really interact. What do you do with, with a cat? I mean, other than cats jump it. on you. Let me. T- he's got a cat. How many cats you got? Three cats. Okay, I got five cats. Every single one of them have a different personality. They're yeah, all all different. They're one that one does this makes you chuckle. One does this is totally nuts. Well, I can tell you right now. I've been to an aquarium, and, and the person who runs it told me that dolphins have different personalities. But you're talking about goldfish. You're not talking about a dolphin. I'm not going to own a dolphin. Dolphin's a mammal anyway. It's not a fish. Okay. Well, I was at a, I was at an aquarium, and they told me these two <laughs> eels. One will stay under the rock. <laughs> And one will always come out floating around, and they name them. So that these fish, some are shy, some are more outgoing. No, so who's to say that a fish doesn't have a personality? <laughs> but you can't really interact with them. I mean, you can pet the fish that you. you know? uh, what was his name again? Your your fish that you had. I had King Placo for years. I don't think it was, it was a different one. It was a lot of royalty in this uh, <laughs> King Placo. All right, well, oh, Gordon Princess people. Mitch, Gordon, Gordon the fish. fish yeah. yeah, you've had fish. How was right, it? Ask him. him when King Placo. I, I currently have King Placo the eighth. So, oh, so what, one through seven, what happened when they passed away? I flushed them down the toilet. Really? Oh, there was no feeling. Very, there. let's see. No, I mean, you know, it's a playco. It's hard to, it, like, so I guess it's true. It's hard to when develop. A I, I've had fish die that I've been like, oh, that's a bummer. Like, I kind of like that fish, but, uh, you know. It's not the same as if you lost a cat. No, you you know, it's not a the same as if you lost a cat, but there, there, there was a fish. It was a Siamese fighting fish, one of those ones that when it died, like, I, I felt. I felt really bad. I ended up actually going in the opposite direction and buying five fish to replace him, and it, they, they couldn't fill that hole. I, I think it's that it's, it's solely because of the wall of water between you guys. You know, if, if it was if if not for that water, you probably would have had a much more closer relationship with with your probably. But I mean, cats are very snuggly animals, and you know what I mean. They sleep with me and. They have. We all have little idiosyncrasies that I know of with the cats. That fish really just swim, you know. Do you ever think about like you ever? I know they used to be hot. I remember, guys used to wear um, shoes mm. with fish in their heels. Oh, you mean like an, I'm going to get you, sucker, the pimp, like that <laughs> yeah. guy, like the one oh, that guy wasn't, we've seen doing. Oh, that wasn't a real thing. That that wasn't a fashion thing. I, I mean, or that I, was just for the movie. Got my fish shoes. I mean, I've never seen it aside from the movie. That's not to say it didn't happen somewhere. <laughs> oh, but. I thought that was a thing that was in like in the 70s. Uh, oh, if I could get King Placo in a in a shoe, that'd be a shoe. Would, would you wear platforms for King Placo? I would if I could bring King Placo around. Well, yeah, that'd be dope. All right. Well, enough cat talk. Like you said, there is a GoFundMe. I don't like taking. I in fact I can't take people's money right for no reason. Well, not I mean not no reason, but I, I just I, I can't take it and be like, hey, thanks. So you guys have uh, said you're going to help me do something for the people who have contributed, whether it's five or five thousand, doesn't matter how much you give. Everybody's going to get the same thing. Minus two hundred forty-seven dollars. Right. As soon as we knock that off, maybe we. I, I mean, <laughs> Oh, maybe I can try to hide it in the accounting. <laughs> just, <laughs> I, I really thought I was doing a good thing if I had won the money. But, hey, no loss. There's no loss. You didn't. There's I, I mean, a $100 loss. What are you talking about? 
Well, and the loss of trust by a listener. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, come on. How can there be a loss of trust? What am I, a fucking FedEx? You can meet me in the middle of Wisconsin, give me something to deliver to someone else? How often do I do it for you guys, being the guy here? Or the, every, everybody sends their stuff for you guys here. It is if appreciated, was, but it's not the same thing, though. So, uh, so you're okay if I start opening your guys' mail and being like going through what? Oh, you know what? I think I'd rather have this than you if guys. If that's what you want to do, then I can't stop you. But what I'm saying is – You wouldn't like, resent that? I wouldn't resent it. But like, that's pretty with, weird. I'm, not, I'm getting stuff to pack and to ship home and then to carry here. You're They're, talking about a fucking bill that you just put in your wallet. No, I get other stuff for you guys too that I just kind of throw out when I get it. But like, <laughs> I'm just saying the expectation that I'm going to bring something from the middle of nowhere back here is crazy. But if you give me $100, at least I made a shot at turning that into more money for you. Your heart was in the right place. Very much in the right place. And I don't think I should be punished for it is my point. Right. To the tune of $247. Okay. We'll let the people decide. Buy him two hundred dollars worth of lottery tickets. Just give me yeah. the two hundred forty. I'm not asking it for you from the GoFundMe. Yeah, I don't know if I could do that. Though. I think people would feel weird about that. I'll give you the two forty seven when I get paid this week. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Sounds, That's that fun. sounds fair. That sounds reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> You're never getting that hundred dollars. <laughs> that one hundred dollars gone. <laughs> Oh, uh, boy. So what were we going to talk about? Oh, you said you had some stuff to talk about, Q. Uh, Aside yeah. Aside from <laughs> betraying the trust of the listening audience. I know what it's like now and only now do I understand what it's like to be big-timed by the cast of Walking Dead. <gasps> you got big-timed? I got fucking blown out of the water big-timed. Can we guess the the person? Yes, I don't. It's not an obvious one, but yeah. What are the, can we guess the circumstances? You guess everything, big time. I might have been. I he might was as well been losing the money and <laughs> trying fucking, to get this person to his side. <laughs> I, I, I got not not that. I I don't feel like I carry myself in a badly, but I I definitely was humbled. I got really? a little less in a carry about yourself just, badly. What is you that know, mean? in terms of like being on TV and stuff like that. Big, ti- big time and other. I don't think I big time. You're never big time. I don't. Anybody. I like to think I don't. But what are you going to do? But uh, well, what's your definition of big time here too? Like, and, and how did they treat you? This well, it wasn't how they treated me. It was their mere presence made me and my little shitty TV show invisible it's, to the masses. Oh, so you were somewhere, and then this person showed up. And I was. Like, I might as well have been. Yes. So it would be like if you were somewhere and me and Walt showed up. <laughs> no. No, no, no. I don't agree with that. I'm telling you it was if you were somewhere and The Walking Dead showed up because nobody <laughs> fucking matters. What I've learned is from a cast member of The Walking Dead is Where were you? I was, as is my way, at a Broadway show last <laughs> night, Walt. I went to go take in the theater. Oh, my God. This is – what's going on? Yeah, what what is it? <laughs> what, what, why do you say that? If I said I went to go see a movie, there would be nothing. There would be right, nothing. Because, be- it's, because uh, in a movie, uh, almost every movie today has either a car chase, a gun battle, a yes. monster, an alien. Yes. No singing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have something against singing? I'm not a fan of musicals. But I like comedies. I've said this before. Like mm-hmm. if there's a comedy on Broadway, I'll probably go see it if I hear good things about it because I like comedies. Right. So I went to go see School of Rock. The Andrew Lloyd Webber play. Oh, this has a ton of, of good music in it, though. Well, no. Well, it has. Oh, yeah, not for you because you like sh- you like Broadway tunes. You like show tunes. No, 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 no. You don't I like was, rock. For me, Where's yes. Dolly Parton going to come on? <laughs> you guys are Andrew wrong. Lloyd Webber. <laughs> come on. I'm What's gay. with this AC? <laughs> Give me a gay song. <laughs> you guys are on the wrong side of history. I'll tell you that right now. No, I, I'm saying for you, I don't think you would have dug it. Because well, isn't it all rock songs in it? No, it's a rock Andrew Lloyd Webber songs. Oh, but they – oh, OK. Is that what uh, – I thought yeah. it was like um, – No, it's not a jukebox mu- musical as I taught you two weeks ago about the uh, 70s play Disaster in which they play popular tunes. No, no, no. This was an original – they played one song that they had in the movie that the little kid wrote in the movie mm-hmm. that they play at the end. They play that and this. But other than that, it's all like original Andrew Lloyd Webber songs. From his career? No, no. For, Just that for he this wrote song. New, but to, oh, okay. to new rocking yeah. tunes. Right. All right. Okay, so School of Rock the movie wasn't enough for you. School of Rock the series, TV series wasn't enough <laughs> for you. There was a TV series? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know about that. But you wanted to see it in the form of – 
Well, nature. one, it's a comedy, and two, the lead, this guy named Alex Brightman, who I learned is a big fan of you guys. Um, afterwards, went backstage, got to got to talk to him after being humbled. So he was like uh, a Brian Walt with you. Well, he's he basically yeah. He was uh, he was on. We have him on a practical joke for something. So. I was like, God, oh, cool. I'll come see, come see School of Rock. Once see School of Rock. But he's a huge Kevin Smith fan, huge Morats fan. He would like to come down and uh, meet you guys, sit in on the podcast. Really? Yeah. If you guys could behave yourself long enough to fucking let a cultured gentleman in and speak well, about the theater. What are you talking about? We've had getting on for the last three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you guys just spent two minutes calling me gay for going to theater, <laughs> and now we're going to have a guy come in, and that's how he makes his living. I don't embarrass me. Oh, he's not gay. He's making money. But what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> so he's gay for pay. So. <laughs> uh, he's a he's a good guy. So I went to go see it, and you know, normally there's a little bit of hubbub around when, when I go see you, the show. There's a little bit of uh, electricity in the air. A little BQs be backstage. Little hubbub of BQs. Not even backstage. <laughs> A little, a little bit of electricity in the room. If BQ, yes. even if there's a rumor, he might show up tonight at yes. one of the one of the many shows. He's been. Yes. No- I'm glad you said it. I didn't want to say. <laughs> the crowd is opposed. He's got a monocle. He's a bad song. Eventually, he'll show up. I remember. Remember. Uh, <laughs> remember um, there was a NFL coach that would leave tickets every every weekend for Elvis at the box office at Will Call. Just in case Elvis showed up, that's what everybody on Broadway is doing. Just in case BQ, <laughs> well, that will call every night. There, right. There's a there's tickets yeah. on hand for BQ if he decides to show leaving up. Leaving cookies out for Santa. <laughs> well, so you would have thought, but this was not the case. I just imagine Q showing up with like a scarf, a beret, and a cigarette holder, <laughs> spats and a monocle, a Warby Parker monocle. <laughs> so you go to see the music. Usually, all right. So usually when I go, like generally, I'll end up taking like a bunch of pictures before and after the show. This time, silence. Nobody even looking my way, which I was relieved at, but I was like, I wonder what's happening. And then I look over and I see one of the cast members of The Walking Dead, the center of attention, the bell of the ball. People who asking for photos. I thought you were we going to guess. guess. Oh, we got to guess who it was? Yeah. Now, people were shaking his hand, him, oh, him not, shaking totally his hand, too. taking pictures. It can only be two people if the, if the whole if the whole room is fixated on the whole just room. one person in the room. It's got to be either it's gotta the be bad Norm. boy, it's got to be Norm. or the or the dude, the main dude with the with the beard, Andrew Lincoln, one yeah. of those two. It's got to be so, one. Of those wait, two. wait, give us a hint. Is are they uh, alive or dead? I'm alive, sure. currently alive. On the currently show. alive on the show. So those are both good guesses. Mm-hmm. A, a main cast. If it's member. anybody else. It's someone else. Wow. Was it Stephen? No. It wasn't Stephen. Was it male or female? We're only guessing male. said male. Okay. Um, when I went backstage to, to, to oh, talk I know about Alex. Was. Abraham. It, yeah, it was Abraham, the guy with the orange hair. No. No. When I went backstage to tell Alex Brightman, I said, hey, this guy was in the theater. He freaked out. He was like, God, I love it. It's my favorite show. I want to I, – I, I got even backstage. Past you. <laughs> I got I – got, I got, Big timed by this person. Please tell me it wasn't Chandler Riggs. Who's that? That's the kid that plays car. It was the kid who. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor guy. Uh, might as well have been invisible next to this young man. Oh uh, no! People are falling over themselves to get over him to say hi to I, him. I think it's good though. Yeah. To I me, I feel like it's I got like, left alone. It's like uh, it's the when me telling. Brian, to buy Sage a goldfish. Yeah. Eventually, just like a goldfish, I will die. Gonna, everything's <laughs> going to happen. Gonna die. <laughs> and, yes. and you're going to be watching you down a toilet. You're <laughs> going to be able to. You're going to have to pay first off to get into that fucking. Bar. I paid. I bought. Oh, you bought it. I and you, you bought it, and you still get backstage. Yeah, I, it, uh, comps and Broadway are a weird thing. They don't just they don't just give them away. I've learned. Oh really? So, but how do you get backstage then? Well, because I'm because I'm friendly. He was all guy. dressed in black, pretending he was a stagehand. <laughs> uh, I just went to the. He he told me we were texting. He's like, just come to the side door over there. I'll let you in. Oh, okay. I would assume that yeah, that like you're you've got to know somebody to get backstage. So you. Well, I did. I know the. the so how does he play. know what day you're coming though? Oh no, I I text with him. I'm friendly with him. Oh okay. So I told him I was coming that night. I mean, but um, uh, very telling too. Carl was sitting second row, front and center. Mm-hmm. I was sitting all the way to the right. You had opera glass. Same row, <laughs> second row, 
all the way to the right. Was that wow. the celebrity row? Yeah, no, no. Carl was in the celebrity. So you only, you only so the okay. So, but there was, was there anybody the, else in the room that may have been? Not that I noticed. Yeah. Even I was blinded by Carl. <laughs> I did notice. Uh, it was odd. Even at this play, I saw Ming Chen sucking on his nuts yeah. underneath the fucking thing, <laughs> trying to get a picture with him. <laughs> He's just teabagging him during the play. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah like when he got uh, – people were following him. Like they walked out of it. He was like looking for pictures with him. Apparently – I mean I mean, a walking cast – a walking dead cast member came into the store and I didn't even know they were in the store. Shit. Oh, yeah. It Which was one? The girl who – she plays – God, I can't remember her name. She plays Carl's girlfriend. Um, oh, that crazy one that walks around in the woods with him? Yeah. Oh. And um, I think Ming told the story on I Sell Comics. I'm not sure. But we were uh, – Ming, Mike, and I were hosting or uh, moderating a panel for Rooker. So we were – you know, Rooker's up next and we're waiting backstage to do the panel. And uh, the girl, whose name I can't recall, is playing like a ukulele and <laughs> singing and shit, right? And uh, going over her allotted amount of time. So I start making remarks. And I make a remark about pulling her off with a, the big hook and like Sandman sweeping her off and all that kind <laughs> yeah. of shit. And then like Ming's letting me go for some reason. And the reason being her father is standing right oh. next to me. <laughs> I'm unaware of it. And, and, and Mike was like – Mike wasn't like right there. So he was like, well, how far would you let him go? And, and Ming's like, as far as he was going to go. That's, that's, he's like, I'm not stepping in. I don't want to hear it. Thing, bro. Yeah, he yeah. wanted to hear it. Uh, so – yeah, and they, she she was in the store with her her dad and mom. Her dad's actually a really nice guy. He grew up in Middletown, like right next to us. Mm, cool. Yeah, there's nothing bigger than Walking Dead. No, yeah. I would I'd have to say it's the uh, it's the Big Daddy right now. Without a doubt, without a doubt, it can't last forever, right? No, nothing right? can. No. That shows a goldfish, just like the rest of us, bro. I just can't believe that. Like, I guess so. I mean, when you go to cons, his. His lines are pretty long. Did I tell you when we were in Chicago? I don't think I did. The girl who was obsessed with Ming. With who? Ming. It was so fucking weird. She was 17. Uh, she was from Wisconsin or something. I, I can't remember her name. She came there to volunteer just to be at the table with Ming and uh, was just completely starstruck. Like Mark Chapman obsessed? By him. Um, or David Chapman, whatever you call him. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I didn't inquire as to her plans as if she's going to assassinate a president or anything, <laughs> or you know, something like I mean, that. You have um, to be a little. You have to be. I a little asked her. I was like, to be obsessed with Ming. Well, I yeah. then became obsessed with why she was obsessed with Ming, and I couldn't. And I don't mean make sense of it. I couldn't make sense of it. But I, I don't. I mean, I coming from a person who's dreadfully uninteresting. He's he he is I, I I mean what is it about him that is interesting though that you would be <laughs> and this is coming from somebody I realize I am just a, I am more dreadful. One you know that's bullshit, but you two you know you have to throw in a caveat yeah. before you put him down. <laughs> no, that's not that's look, dude, you're so interesting. Shut the not, fuck there's up. There's not a there's nothing there's nothing interesting. I think um, I'm not you know, I'm not just starting. Let's just go stay on Ming. But what is it though that would make anybody be like I'm fascinated with this? I spent two days trying to figure out and never got to the bottom of it. <laughs> she opted for hanging out with Ming. She could have gotten a free like photo op with Chandler Riggs. She's like, no. Nah. Who's that? The, the kid we're talking about, oh, Carl. Okay. The one who the one who big made, time Q. made fucking Q look like an asshole. So see, everybody gets big time Q. Yeah. Ming, big time Chandler. Big time, yeah. Yeah. Well, for one person. That's, that's the one that hurts the most. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're not as hurt as you should be. <laughs> was there any? Was there a feeling of relief, like oh cool, I'm not getting swarmed, or was there a feeling I'm of like? like oh, I mean, I'm half, I'm half kidding. I, I was taking pictures and stuff, but like yeah. it, it was like he he was there. It was I did I was didn't notice something that I was like it's so weird. Like he's how old do you say? Sixteen? Yeah, he's probably around sixteen now. I was like, there were like grown men going up to him, being like, I just have to shake your hand. And I'm looking at them and I'm like, why? Like, why do you have to shake his hand? Like, he's a 16 year old kid. Like, let him watch School of Rock. Like, what? like I just didn't get it. Like, I, I don't get. I felt bad for him 
because he's a shy kid or he just – like he's just sitting there like hunched over in his chair and like they're an intermission. Like he didn't get up. He just sat there in the chair and like just anybody right. who came, he was very polite to, very nice to. He didn't right. blow anything But you off. know, if you, if you want to watch a play in obscurity, then don't go out on acting calls and don't go out and rehearse and try to get a lead in the fucking biggest show on the planet. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I really yes. regret it now. <laughs> People are bugging me during this crappy play. Don't do it. No, then. but I'm not even saying that. I'm like, what's up with the dude who has to shake the hand of a 16 year old? Well, it's probably the only time he'll come into contact with somebody on the show that's the biggest thing on the planet. So, so what? Why do you have to shake? Did you try to relate in any way? Like, Chandler, I know how you feel, right? And, <laughs> I'll switch seats with you. There was zero shot of me getting anywhere near that kid. Really? Oh, zero really? He had, he had security. Uh, I don't know if he had security, but he had people around him, like fans, like bothering him and stuff like that. And then I guess he had his family with him, whatever. People were sitting next to him or not. Was he wearing the hat and the eye patch? Like, no, was he giving he himself away? <laughs> <laughs> his, hair is, his hair is very long. Um, no, and then, you know, of course, I was in my fucking shitty all the way to the side seat. So I don't want to embarrass myself by trudging over there from the depths of the ghetto I was in. You're like, is this a load-bearing column I'm sitting next to? Because if not, I mean, can we move it? <laughs> yeah. Wow, big time. Big time. So you didn't even meet him. I didn't even meet him. Even I've met if him you a met couple him, times. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. I didn't try to meet him. I, but if you I let's say you, let's say you guys are leaving together, you know, you guys are both you both are waiting for your cars to come pick your limos, you up. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, love it. I love like it can't just be said straight. Like you're both, like, you're both waiting for your cars. It's like, you're both waiting for you know your cars, your limos, your your hired men. <laughs> Hey, yeah, yeah. My Jeep Wrangler parked two blocks away in the rain and you're, yeah, you're on got, the street because it was six dollars cheaper to get than towed. The you guys are just happen to have having to have to wait maybe you know five minutes to uh, uh, well, for that your cars. Long? Yeah, Not you know, if I'm paying for a car. Uh, you wouldn't have walked over and be like, "Hey, and no, I watch no, the show. No, it's awesome." Know. You don't think it would it would come it would mean more to him to coming from uh, a peer than? I don't think he would know me as a peer. Oh come on! I think he would just really. No, I wouldn't Come assume on. that. Come on, you don't think he? Show. You don't think he's ever seen, or he's he's totally oblivious to IJ? I wouldn't be at all surprised if he was totally oblivious. oblivious I would be IJ. surprised. I think it's 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 definitely his. Uh, you're that's that audience, man. That's that. Uh, I think that. I think that. He, I think, that he, I think uh, you should be concerned if he doesn't know. No, you're not I doing don't. your job. What's my job? To get- make everyone aware. That's not my job. You're, you you got to make everyone in India aware. <laughs> wow. India is a beautiful country with a, yeah. with a beautiful I, culture. I mean, come on. When, and, uh, you know, I sound like ever heard. A fascinating history. Where's your Johnny Depp? <laughs> <laughs> when someone, of a, someone on a level that they also works. Very direct people who will let you know if you break their rules. What? When you get a compliment or, a sh- or somebody just like, hey, man, I dig the show. I really love what you can do. And they are somebody – on the other side, the same side you're on, doesn't it feel a little bit more? Um, I don't want to say meaningful because it shouldn't, but isn't it a little bit more like, oh wow? Well, it depends could- on the person. Like like Jeff Bridges saying it, fuck yeah, you're like holy. Jeff shit. Bridges from King Kong. Jeff Bridges from, from Big Lebowski. Big, no, not Jeff Bridges. Um, Todd Bridges from Different no, no, Strokes. No, uh, what did I say? <laughs> Jeff How Bridges. I he on? was fucking not he- Jeff Bridges. Uh, Dumb and Dumber. Oh, Jeff Daniels. Jeff Daniels. Jeff Daniels. Him saying it. That was fucking big. I was like, that's unbelievable. What about Jim Carrey? Jim Carrey said it. Jim, Jim Carrey tweeted about it or something like that. That's big. Like, that's huge because these are guys whose work I respect and admire. So to know so, that. Yeah, so, you, so you, the kid might have you know, tweeted about it. It might have been a mean, a mean Joe Green moment if you had maybe you had just been like, yeah. hey, here, kid, kid, I, I really yeah, dig what you're doing. Yeah, but I think you'd rather just be left alone. I mean, you would have had to walk out shirtless and she would have an extra jersey. But <laughs> people would have been like, why is that guy approaching Chandler Riggs with no shirt on? <laughs> Thanks, mean queen. Wait, 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 mean Joe queen. queen. <laughs> mean Joe Queen. <laughs> poke tire on his neck. Mean Joe Q. Is he a disillusioned yeah. Chippendale? What's going on here? <laughs> well, so get I, back to your seat. It's good to get grounded once in a while, Q. You, you wouldn't want your head to get too big. I guess. You know? I didn't think my head was big. No. No, I don't think so either, but you, you never know. Like the, the, the years of um, 
of love. Yeah, the outpouring. See, it's different. Like when you're on Comic Book Men and <laughs> you're like, oh, so you're you're on a show? And I'm like, yeah, Comic Book Men. Have you ever heard of The Walking Dead? That inevitably follows. And uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I heard of that. And I was like, we come on after that. And it's like I can't imagine – I can't believe that they haven't even seen like a, a promo for our show or something. <laughs> who, who remembers a promo? That's tough. They do show it during, yeah. the, during the Walking Dead though. Yeah. It's, yeah. That's when somebody's taking a piss or getting something to eat or yeah. whatever. Or texting. Yeah. And then they proceed to get something to eat or piss for the next half hour when we're on. <laughs> <laughs> but what about the Olympics, man? It's, uh, this is the Summer Olympics. It's big, Wait, right? before we jump into that, mm-hmm. should we talk about the Gramercy shows? Can we just remind yeah. everybody that this Friday night we have two shows at the Gramercy in New York City? Um, I, I believe the first show is sold out now. Yes. I've heard that people have tried to get tickets they can't. There are still tickets for the second show. Um, we have great things planned. Uh, if you love Tell Him Steve Dave and its universe, mm-hmm. you should be um, pretty happy with what the plans are. I don't yeah. know about if you'll be happy with the execution, but the plans, the plans are, good. <laughs> are really, really uh, insane. Yes. Um, everything uh, from – Spitting blood to singing <laughs> to dancing to games. Game. I mean, it should right. be an amazing, uh, amazing evening if you're into Tell Him Steve Day, which I pretty much have to think everybody who's in that room is into it if yes. they're there. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. And um, again, if you go to both shows, you, you hang out afterwards. And we We're take, take pictures. The photo op we, afterwards. We write stuff down. And, Sal Volcano is opening for us both shows. Oh yeah, he's right. doing a stand up. That's a rare. Sal that's Volcano. huge. That's huge. And I just got word that uh, maybe Joe Gatto will be there as well. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. But if, we're going to have to give notes at the door. If Chandler Rigg shows up, you send him away. <laughs> you turn can we him get away. the? Can we get the uh, the no. fourth one down too? Then <laughs> he's going to be in LA already at that point. Any chance? I mean, can we get a lookalike? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I'll get a ferret from a store. And bring it in. Uh, but I believe he's in. LA Let it loose in the crowd. Yeah, yeah. put him in a little suit. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe me, I'd love to have him there. I'd love to get him involved. But uh, I think he. We're all going out to LA that weekend. I think he's okay. leaving already. So there you go. Nice. Um, I just want to get that in. Yeah. Before we get and the links far. at the top of your. Twitter and all yes. our Twitter. Are you excited about the Olympics, Q? Are you a big Olympics man? Do you follow it every four years? I get into it uh, when I have the opportunity. Do you feel the national pride swell? I like watching the U.S. soccer team go. This is the Summer Olympics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you, you'll be watching for a long time if you're we were looking for the uh, the hockey this this summer. It like keeps going to take a piss, runs back. Did I miss it? Did I miss it? <laughs> I said soccer for four years. Oh, soccer. I said soccer. soccer yeah. I thought you said hockey. No, I said no, soccer. soccer. Oh, yeah. I thought you said hockey too. No. You're starting to go too, right? Maybe it is. Boys. Uh, no, no, <laughs> you, uh, soccer. Uh, I like uh, watching the wait soccer. Wait a minute. Soccer is an Olympic sport. What about, I thought yeah. that was the World Cup. It was huge last time. So how come, it doesn't, how come no one cares who wins the soccer gold medal? It's all about oh, the no, World they, Cup. They, 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 they do care. care. Sure. <laughs> the what? authority. People do to care. <laughs> That's like one of the biggest Idiot. things for that book to I've never heard one thing about the the, uh, the the soccer Olympic team. I don't know where you've been. That's, that's huge. It's like one of the biggest oh, things so to watch. What? It is. It's all about the World Cup, I thought. It is also about the World Cup, but the, the Olympics is big. The U.S. The the US, US team. The, oh, the women's team, right? The women men's and too. Men. And men's. Every year it's like a big thing. Just every, like every hockey. And hockey in the, winter, in the Winter Olympics. Hockey's one of the biggest events. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I remember something about 1980, right? No, it doesn't have to be 1980. <laughs> That's the last time they won. I, I, you know what? I, I guess we don't do well. I guess the men don't do well. Uh, no. We, they did well know, last time. Yeah, they did. They, we actually have, and I have not, unfortunately, been able to follow it as much as I usually like to, but uh, we have we have a U.S. team pretty fucking good. Are they, are they favored to get any kind of that, medal this year? That I don't know anything Who's about. Who's the favorite? That I don't know. Brazil? I can look Italy, into it. Mexico? A favorite in basketball. Who? I'm sure the U.S. favorite in basketball. Mm. Are they Are they having uh, I don't NBA? Know. Uh, I don't know. Is it basketball still an Olympic sport? I remember baseball was for a little while. I, I don't think fo- it's so. I, I, I don't know. Honest, they did Olympics both of them at one time. For me. Really? Nothing. Not even doesn't, the opening ceremonies? Doesn't move my needle. <laughs> Not at all. Nope. 
Well, you know, like how you lead him into, like, do you swell with pride and all all that shit? And then you're like, because I don't give a fuck. (laughs) It doesn't. Yeah, I don't like any of it. I don't like watching people swim. Yeah, I'm not into swimming. Who the fuck cares? It's not for me. (laughs) (laughs) I once watched somebody swim and I said, you know, forget it. (laughs) I I watch people run around in a circle, passing a stick. But it is like, I mean... I would never sit there through it. I certainly not a million years, even given free tickets, would go to it. No. But like if you see a highlight where you see how fast those motherfuckers are running, it's like, holy shit, man. Yeah, they're quick. Yeah, it's crazy. They're like it's quick. it's interesting. Just like, But it's not know. it's not exciting though. No. Like they could be running they they could be running faster than my eye could even see them. And I'd still be like, This is boring. Right. They're just running. Yeah. I mean, they're still going to wind up in the same exact spot unless someone falls. Yeah. And there's like some sort of tragedy on the track. Right. And most people don't, you know, it's, you know. Like going to like a NASCAR thing exactly. and they go around and around until somebody Wait goes. for the crash. And yeah, until like a wheel goes flying into the now stands we're talking. or something. Now it's getting interesting. What are, the, uh, what are the top things that you're looking forward to? What are the top sports you're looking forward to mm-hmm. watching this I summer? I like the Winter Olympics better in the summer. So I actually like the, the weightlifting. Hmm. Hmm. Oiled up guys, huh? <laughs> How many Broadway they're shows do you see? <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're not just, really just my name at the box <laughs> office, buddy. <laughs> Don't let you write. Sunday Jeff gets big time by Chandler Riggs. <laughs> <laughs> the weightlifting. Yeah, it's is, that cool. a summer, is that a summer yeah. sport? Yeah, anybody can lift I, that I, kind of weight, man. Was there it's just insane. a fucking coin toss back in Greece and they're like, uh, weightlifting, what do we make it summer well, or winter? Who the fuck cares? I mean, what are you going to watch? Bicycling? It's the same thing. I mean, it's like, actually, I don't mind the soccer. I like watching the soccer, too. The soccer's pretty good. But then it's like, there's actually constant action going on in soccer. I mean, swimming there is back and forth. Constant yeah. action? Well, they're, constantly walk, they're constantly running around back and forth with the ball. No different than hockey without a stick. Oh, I think there's a gigantic oh, difference. Jeff, I have a fucking big update for you and me, my friend. The U.S. Olympic team, soccer team did not qualify for the Olympics Ooh, this year. Damn. But the females, the women's well, did. I'm going to need your belts, you guys. <laughs> well, your gonna, shoelaces. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to need you guys to go fucking study to be a fucking Americans again because <laughs> – this guy the just fuck? said he doesn't fucking care. Well, well, at I, least I know what's going on. I know that they're. You didn't even know there was a soccer team. Because they don't fucking qualify. They, they suck. You, they you, no, you suck. just found that they out now. If he didn't tell you that, he could tell you that they won tomorrow, and you'd be like, they oh, that's don't great. They suck. <laughs> I've, I, they have no buzz whatsoever. None. Then why'd you bring it up? Because we're talking about the Olympics. You were talking about the Olympics. Right, no, but but I don't think you brought up soccer. I, I, up I soccer. thought you were like – I didn't even realize soccer was on the menu for uh, this this summer's uh, games. It's not – I just like that Sunday Jeff now has to take a citizenship test again <laughs> just to stay here. <laughs> wow. So is that, sh- is that a, does that kind of put a little bit of damper on Come the games Come to think of you? it, the last time I remember the US, I was living on, on uh, Westcott. Oh, okay. So that's got to be fucking eight years ago was What's the that? last What's time. That? that was the street I lived on, my oh. old apartment. Um, and now we remember we went up to that bar and we were drinking and watching the game. I That's the last time I remember the, the – and that's eight years ago. So maybe you're right, Walt. Maybe the team has not been good. Yeah, I got – I'm just – I'm not trying I to be they were good a time. jerk or un-American here, but four I don't remember ago. seeing I any – I don't even remember anything from them before you. Any ago. kind of buzz about the men's soccer. Now, I remember the women's soccer, but I thought that was a World Cup. They would take their shirts off every time they scored a goal. Mia the Hamm girls, did that, right? And they'd have they, – they'd be – but they'd have sports bras on underneath. Right, unfortunate. But um, I'd be watching the Olympics otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> but that, I remember. But I, I didn't realize that was an Olympic um, event. I thought that was a World Cup. They, they play event. Olympic, but uh, but no, that was. Well, I don't know what exact thing you're talking about. When Mia Hamm took a thing off, that was a Women's World Cup, I think. And I also think uh, the reason she did it was because she was endorsed by. Nike yeah, or she got fined so, or something yeah. like that. Um, oh, you tell me that wasn't a, a legitimate. Uh, Spontaneous, no, I've, joyous I've, exuberation. I've read that it's um, it, it was a moment of not exuberation, but one of uh, commercialization. Yeah, commercialization. Yes. Yeah, you yeah. know, Miandi should look into that. Maybe the next. You know, wanna- yeah, they pull their pants down and they see this <laughs> month's design. Uh, but yeah, I have not been uh, able to keep my pulse. What are on- the top? What are the top three things you're looking forward to in this this summer's Olympics? What events? Pole uh, vaulting. Vaulting. 
I can't. Any uh, other phallic uh, sports? <laughs> <laughs> Do they have a tap or music? <laughs> Equestrian. Badminton. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I like the Winter Olympics. Olympics. It's so yeah. fucking crazy. Yeah. Oh, women's I, volleyball. Yeah, beach, is it beach good, volleyball though. or is it um, – They do both, I think. Yeah, that I'll watch that. I like curling, man. I get addicted to curling. That's why I like the Winter Olympics better. I think, yeah, I think it's uh, it's pretty safe to say it's most of people sport, damn, curling. tend to want to watch the Winter Olympics. I don't know. Yeah, I guess the summer ones just don't have that – Mm. Well, that jump when you're on that that crazy jump, the skis, that, yeah, that's discus crazy, throwing, man. a good discus. That's throw. summer. Yeah, well, they have triathlon. Baseball, baseball no, summer. I don't, I don't think baseball is an Olympic sport anymore. I think it was a trial. There was a, it was like an exhibition sport to see if there was a like a mm. a test run to see if it would fly. And I don't think it ever. I don't think it passed the the grade, and it wasn't kept on as an Olympic sport. Now, didn't you know that there's a uh, back when the Olympics first the origin yeah. back in Greece all perform nude. That explains What was the advantage to it? I mean, <laughs> not, so well, they, they wrestled Turkish, in the nude. Turkish wrestling? Would that be better? Well, for, they, uh, I mean, it wasn't – you guys somebody automatically – Somebody definitely popped a boner in that, right? <laughs> yeah. but, even, but even like throwing a javelin, you could, you just would have nothing on it. It's not all about just like slapping flesh with some, on somebody else. It's, these are a lot of solo events you would do nude too where it's just you against yourself. Why nude? Why nude? Jeff, would you join a nude curling league? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Not this time of my life. Uh, wow. so what do you got? What, what are some of the uh, things that uh, that's on your radar about the Olympics? Um, I don't really look so much for the sports as how it's going to all fall apart <laughs> because they're holding it in um, a complete third world cesspool of a country. Ooh, you're going. That's strong. That's. You're throwing yourself out there for some criticism. Uh, yeah, all right. Is it Brazil really? It says it in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> is there, is Brazil definitely have third world um, label? That's that's uh, absolutely. How can we never hear about second world? I hear first world, and third, third world. world. I don't yeah. hear any. Who's in the second world? I don't know. Let's not speculate. Let's make sure because otherwise people will come down on us for being stupid. <laughs> Let's see. Right, but do you ever hear about like? Well, they're a second world country. No. And which is worse? Like, don't you want to be like, you either want to be the worst or the best in between to form is your like former communist, socialist, industrial states. So oh, like Kazakhstan and Russia, China's considered second world. Really? Obviously, they weren't in, involved with naming mm-hmm. second world countries. Is there a fourth world? Jack Kirby. I know. I knew you were going into different dimensions. Here. Like, is there, but is there not a, like is there a shittier place yeah, than the shittiest place? But no, I, I, in all seriousness, is there is there countries that are like you don't even get into third world status? You shithole, you're fucking fourth world. Who's telling them this in the United Nations? Holy the shit. UN is holding. Are you guys aware of this? Uh, it's not by shithole countries. Oh, it's not. It's not by their the. Um, is it about being uh, developed? No, it's not about that at all. Strength of army. It seems to be hooked with World War to the Cold War. Huh. But I mean, the third world country has been become synonymous with shithole country. Yeah, yes. but, but here's a first world is the United States, United Kingdom and their allies. Second world, Soviet Union, China, China and their allies. Third world countries are neutral and non-aligned countries. So not shithole. Oh, so they get, I think, Bri, you have to maybe apologize because you – and it's not your fault. It was just you didn't realize that third world meant – because like it wouldn't be – a lot of people would assume third world means – Right. Um, yeah, here we go. Like just a, a madhouse of a country. Mm. You know, because where, many third world countries were extremely poor and non-industrialized, it has become a stereotype to refer to poor countries as third world. Mm. Yet the third world term is also taken to include newly industrialized countries like Brazil, Russia, India, and China. Wow. All right, then you know what? I will formally apologize to Brazil for calling them a third world shithole and I will amend my statement to <laughs> shithole. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because it's a shithole. It's, it's a, it's, it, there are beautiful, beautiful parts of the country. There are beautiful parts. But it is like one of the most dangerous countries on earth. They have death squads that kill children. And I'm talking police. 
Well, like, what? because kids are like, you know, the kids are abandoned and they become like young girls become prostitutes and young guys will become like robbers and they kill people and shit. And they all like live in these weird shanty towns, like built in the side of a hill. Right. So everyone's so poor. So, you know, the crime rate. All right. But high. what about these death squads? What do you mean? You've never heard of like the death squads that go around and like if kids are causing too many problems, they'll, they'll go in, they'll just do a sweep and like. No, and that just, happens in Brazil. Was this? Was this? Is this wasn't Brazil also the country where they found all those dead, bo- those bodies buried under the jail? Was that Brazil or was that Colombia? Um, let's see. That was in Colombia. A hundred dismembered bodies found beneath Colombia. Is Rio? Thanks, Rob. Rob. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Rob. Rio de Janeiro, right? Rio de Janeiro. Rio. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That's it's Brazil, okay. right? Your your uh, pronunciation was. I want to kiss up your arm. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> is that Brazil? That's that's in Brazil. That's that's so the where they're world. holding it. That's where like the giant Jesus statue is and all that stuff. Right. Um, but speaking of Jesus, before I forget, I do want to. Uh, I do want to thank him for last week's podcast. I Jesus, do, thank you. Well, yeah, because of the amount of outpouring of support uh, obliterated all the naysayers from the previous week, mm-hmm. and um, it really has just uh, empowered me to uh, keep on challenging the so-called quote-unquote authorities and questioning everything and never uh, being ashamed to say, I believe in God. That last thought was sponsored by the Westboro Baptist Church. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, that's, that's, that's insane that, that somebody says that and you immediately throw that – Group. <laughs> what is it? Fags must die? No. Yeah. It's, uh, I can't remember the name of the website. But yeah, I mean, I'm God not going to say fags. any more other What's than that. God hates fags, right? God hates fags. You know, do you know how many people must be waiting until one of them dies to protest their funeral? <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be so many. Um, all right. So you've given your thanks, but let's, let's, let's talk about, um, some science here. Well, first you have the Zika virus, right? Mm. And I know, like, I guess this the, is in Brazil. Yeah. The Olympics are, um, are put in countries to sort of boost their economy, right? Uh, well, I've heard, I've heard. I don't know if it's true, but the, the Olympic Committee it may be dirty. Bought out? Yeah, yeah I've heard the there's, same. There's, I don't know if I don't want to say. I don't want to. Say, I mean, those are things that other countries that may say who are butthurt because they didn't get the Olympics. But right. uh, I'm sure. I'm sure they're clean as a whistle. But can't every country join the Olympics except for, like, say, North Korea? No, no, no. Host it. Oh, host if you, it. Hosting it means billions. Oh, okay. Like, um, like when China had it, or yeah, yeah. Well, uh, how so, they decide? Oh, there's a there's a committee that goes mm-hmm. o- goes over it. It's like hundred dollars. I mean, dollar, I mean they're, they're choosing what? It's twenty years. Well, I think in you got to put in for it though, too. I think you actually whatever. Say, I think you actually put in. Yeah, you know, to you, be involved with it, and I guess they. It's like just like a vote, I guess, where they go through a panel, like you said, and mm-hmm. I guess they. Decide but I think where to I think it. where the next like ten Olympics are already they already know where they're going to be. I guess in fucking February two thousand, Brazilian President Fernando Henrique Cardoso called for immediate action to curb crime after his wife's car was stolen. His presidential car had been stolen three months earlier. They're fucking Imagine crazy. That. That's, like, that's like that's like Obama's somebody... car gets stolen, and and then Michelle Obama's right. car gets stolen. <laughs> what the fuck, Obama? What the fuck going on here, <laughs> bitch? I don't know. My fucking whip's gone too. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. We're never gonna overtake fucking Carl if you keep up this fucking. Carl isn't on there doing racist caricatures. No, he's not. He's up there just letting people kiss his ring at Broadway plays. Mm. I never get up to Broadway. I never, you know, well, as well just do it. What just, about this disease, though? The okay, so you have, so you have Zika, the Zika virus, right? Yeah. What does that do to you? Passed on. By How is that passed? It's passed on mosquitoes. Oh, so it's a bloodborne disease, right? Um, and Australia was giving their athletes Zika-proof condoms, so if they have sex while they're there, they can't get the. Uh, wow. virus I would thought that. that they would that they would be like, if you're going to have sex, make sure it's with an Australian, right? Just to ensure you don't get the Zika. Yeah, I, I can't imagine the Australian government issuing the that. Zika, brother. Like, what? do not have sex with people from Brazil. <laughs> do not hump a Brazilian. <laughs> like, that's a. I mean, it's well, not, we, well, not. It doesn't only affect Brazilian people, but I think what they're saying is like, can if you can't control yourself with probably say a prostitute. But you're also not, an athlete, man. You shouldn't be having sex while you're right. while you're that's over there. Correct. That's it. You're supposed to keep up all that uh, women weak in legs. Mickey said that. Rocky. Mouse? 
No, Mickey. Oh, no, Mickey from Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> I believe Mickey Mouse did say it as well, but he said it more anti yeah, Women with your legs. <laughs> Come on, Pluto. Yeah. Get your it, dick out of that wand. You're going to get more Zika. anti-Semitically. But. <laughs> but, 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 but Q, yeah. let's remember, though, there's women's teams, too. Yeah, but they don't have the same problems that men have. Women can control themselves. What are they handing out to the women's team? They, they're not, oh, they, I'm sure they would hand out condoms, too, right? Uh, I guess they would, right? Just, I, I mean... Let's see, Zika virus here. Let's. Is that women aren't stupid enough? <laughs> like, <to laughs> fever, rash, no no paint, red female eyes. athlete is like we're going to Brazil. Sweet, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Brazil. <laughs> there are yeah. definitely male athletes that have done that. <laughs> yeah, we're like. Oh my we're god, like they prosti- got the big asses down there. <laughs> yeah, like where prostitution is sort of like the gray market. It's like it's it's not legal, but they're like eh, you know we'll uh-huh. turn our heads. Um, but I mean, the Zika virus can fuck you up pretty bad, especially like, especially like early stages, like if it, like a baby, like a fetus, it'll, it'll fuck them yeah, up. Yeah. Those poor babies are born with those heads like shrunk. Yeah. Do they ever grow into those heads or is that a lifetime of that? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. I thought it was, it was first identified in Uganda in 1947. Same mosquito that carries dengue fever, yellow fever. I mean, fucking mosquitoes, right? Like if there was ever something that you'd be like, just fucking get rid of them. Yeah. It's got to be the mosquito. But then we, you know, and I sell comics. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah, if you got a choice. Oh, um, God. But so, I mean, even I, I think even at my horniest, handed a condom saying like, if you don't want to suffer a bloodborne disease, or like wear this. I, I think I'd be like, you know what, I'm okay until I get back. But. Condom making it could protect you from a mosquito, though. Right. I'd be like, do you have any body condoms I can wear <laughs> where just my face is showing? <laughs> you guys want to hear a couple of facts about uh, the troubling state of sanitation in Rio? Of course. Is it, yeah, water is it like India terrible level? Over there, they said. Yeah, do they, have, do to they the, have toilets? <laughs> according to the Ministry of Cities, 30, 30% of the population in Rio de Janeiro is not connected to a formal sanitation system. And even in areas with formal connections, only about half of the sewage waste is treated before entering the waterways in the ocean. And meanwhile, the impractical jokers are number one on all the stations there. <laughs> no, no, no. That's, uh, that's, oh, in Brazil, you guys are you big too? <laughs> We're big in Brazil. Yeah, wherever people can't take a shit in a toilet, <laughs> these guys are there. <laughs> the weirdest coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch, oh. they get shit while I watch Walking Dead. <laughs> um, yeah, so, okay, so you have So that. the waters, the oceans are just well, teeming that, with shit. Phew, that leads me to, where to canoeing uh, is. That leads me really? to this. It's not in a pool? No, they don't do canoeing in a pool. <laughs> They're gonna they have should. I mean, athletes that... in the fucking in the shit water. They usually have the canoeing and all. Oh my god! In, no in, gold in, gold in canoeing in Olympic sport? Yeah. No you gold. You say that, but are you it. sure? Canoeing is an Olympic sport. Okay. Don't you need rapids, like a river? It's not white water rafting. <laughs> I can't even believe canoeing is. I mean, talk about boring. <laughs> like, look at these assholes paddle around. Like I get, I get crew like rowing, you know, with like the yeah. coxswain and all that shit. Holy fuck! Um, he ain't kidding, bro. Super bacteria discovered in Rio's waters as yeah, Olympics they, they had a big thing about the water on the news. I saw it the other night. Showed all this stuff. On oh, the don't other drink! Shore. Don't drink the water. No, I'm just saying, just like no, in saying, their lakes, you're saying, like drinking ocean water. <laughs> it looks like it's all sludgy. <laughs> well, you wouldn't. So you probably the athletes are probably told to drink bottled water too, right? Well, uh, it's nothing but bottled water. I, you drink bottled water here? I don't. I'm not, all, I think yeah. Walt's point is that when you know oh there's a super bacteria God. in the water. <laughs> yeah. My plumbing is hooked up to something, so I feel confident. Coaches are advising sailors to keep their mouths closed or to wash hands after they touch wet gear. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Coaches are telling sailors? Well, it's the sailing. Yeah, they do yachting. Oh, too. That's oh okay. okay. They're telling – say this again. Read that again. Coaches are – Athletes who, who fall in the water say the water stinks. Coaches are advising sailors to keep their mouths closed or to wash their hands after they touch wet gear. In nearby Rodrigo de Frietes, where Olympic rowers will compete, athlete in test events poured bleach on their water bottles and rinse with antibacterial mouthwash in between events. Oh, Lord. Well, at least you know what? 
this is one like at least we have a built in reason why we don't, if we don't get a lot of medals this year. Right. Right, because you're like, well, how could I perform? I have to worry about keeping my mouth closed. It's fucking well, shit. Why would everywhere. they prove it there then? If the water, if the quality of the water wasn't that good, to where you know you're going to have people, athletes, con- you know, competing in that in that particular area. You like, know? Well, that would be that would be for the committee to answer to that question why they why they would go with Brazil. I mean, but I'm sure it's like that in every part, ever almost the rest of the world. I'm sure. Usually they prepare for it. Though, don't they all build like new too. stadiums, arenas, not, not off stuff? Sandy Hook. No, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about uh, the, not a first world country like ours, but the, he's not going to have to worry about that. But you want to, you want to give it. You wanna, Can we be a little more politically correct and say um, non shithole rather than first world? <laughs> <laughs> but there's definitely, you have to let the Olympics be shared by all the countries, though. True, but I would not think there's the a criteria that you would have to. Yeah, exactly. Well, I think that they already approved the games before even that. Holy that shit. That Zika virus was ever. Well, Q, you're even, right. It's saying here. Um, uh, raw sewage continues to flow into many waterways. Holy shit. Um, it's a super bacteria. Hold on. Q's got something. His finger's pointing. Uh, <laughs> Published in July, a test found that in certain areas, Olympic athletes are almost certain to come into contact with disease-causing viruses that in some tests measured up to 1.7 million times the level of what would be considered hazardous on a beach in Southern California. Holy shit. In December, a second round of tests showed that Olympic waterways teem with viruses and bacteria even far from land. Damn. It'd be a hazmat suit what? they had to do. Yeah. Can you oh, imagine fuck. you practice, you train your entire life with a dream of getting into the Olympics, and then they're like, all right, man, you made it, but it's in Rio. And you can't really breathe in the open. Uh, if it rains, you better fucking. It's worse than Why acid it rain. Rains? Well, you know, all the the water's pulled out from condensation and rains back down. So, oh yeah, you can't go out at night because this fucking criminals are on the street. You can't even fuck a prostitute because she's got the Zika virus. Yeah, it's just it's just like uh, fucking a big mosquito. Yeah, like a- the U.S. soccer team probably threw that fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> there, we'll bro. sit this one out. <laughs> Wait for the World Cup. Uh, yeah, and you know, an athlete can't say any of these things that they're thinking. No, that's right. why they have us. Well, to be their voice, mm-hmm. we speak We're the voice of the Olympians, <laughs> the official pot of the Olympics. Yeah, violence. The American is- Olympics. That's right. <laughs> violence is on the rise, and police of- police officers are at loggerheads with Rio State government after claiming they haven't been paid for months. And they're telling the tourists, we won't be able to protect you. Uh, Whew, that's a rough one, man. <laughs> if you're hosting Olympics and you can't protect the people that are even coming there to support their teams, that's the, a problem. The state's Who police goes? officers vented their anger Monday with a sign saying, welcome to hell. Police and firefighters don't get paid. <laughs> <laughs> the cops put it up. The cops. Oh my god! It says police and firefighters don't get paid. Whoever comes to Rio de Janeiro will not be safe. The sign said. <laughs> That's crazy. Can, can you imagine landing? They're like, look, they're welcoming us. Oh, wait, wait, holy shit! Wait, what does that say? <laughs> I'm just gonna look up the price of a ticket. <laughs> Who goes? To Rio I, I would imagine Newark. it's just the locals, right? No, I mean people. Like All over they, the world go to they, those events. Don't they get the, the tickets for whatever event they want to see like years in advance? And Well, they had to know it was going to be in Rio. So, What's yeah. the day of the Olympics, Walt? Uh, it's, it's, I think it's starting next week. Yeah. So if I put in uh, July. Oh, it's in August. I think it's the first or second week in August. I see. So I'll just put August 10th to the 17th. How much a ticket, a plane <laughs> ticket is going to cost? Uh, the government is saying they are ready, though. It said there will be 85,000 security personnel at Olympic sites. Um, $850 million was made available last week after he said the games could be a big failure without the funds. It is believed the back pay will be distributed this week. That was, this is from like a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Some, one of the cops is like, you encounter a drug trafficker armed with lots of ammunition and you only have 20 bullets. It's absurd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of crime in, in Brazil. There's a lot of like – their big thing was – I think they even may have like really popularized it is the uh, motorcycle drive-by. Mm. You know, where they'll just drive by in a motorcycle and shoot somebody up and then take off. It's supposed <laughs> to be a beautiful place though. Yeah, I mean it, I, I thought it was beautiful in the um, – in the touristy areas, just like any other place, yeah. but 
you know, when it's like, well, if you want to go in the water, chances are you're going to come out with, you know, a big rash and look like swamp thing. <laughs> yeah. When Moshe and I went, um, to Australia years and years ago, there was, we went to these hot baths, these like natural spring hot baths. Mm. And, uh, there were signs that said like, don't let your head go, like, don't go below your ears because there were like brain eating, par- potentially brain eating parasites <laughs> that could go into your ears or nose and like get into your, the rest of your body. So how come okay. they can't go in your butthole? I don't know. There, or your, or no your other hole. That. Yeah, and I mean, we both had ours out. And <laughs> Have you been well, checked out? <laughs> <laughs> but there's other there's other cavities you can get into. Yeah, well, I think they, they're. Or it has to be, or it has to be all ahead because it because it can't to get, get up to, to the, the brain. brain. Yeah, oh, maybe. Okay. Or they they figure like you know your butthole's puckered, but maybe not the other one so much. And plus, it's probably that it can't make, it can't swim its way upstream to your brain. Yeah, you're right. It probably has to like get in your ears or your nose yeah. or maybe through your mouth in order to like. It's like those things in Wrath of Khan yeah. that they put in his fucking ear. <laughs> 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 yeah. So if you what's have the name of that planet? Rio, good luck. Uh, City Alpha Five. That's it. City Alpha Five. This is City Alpha Five. Fucking Trekkie nerd. It's a fucking yeah. great movie. Yeah, man. Wrath that of Khan. is the, the best Star Trek movie. <laughs> that ain't saying much though when all the other ones are fucking snooze That's fest. not true at all, dude. All Undiscovered the, Country the is fucking ones? great. All the original Star Undiscovered Trek Country is fucking Which awesome. Which one's that? Four? F- uh, five? Four. Right? It was, no, no, no. The five. four is with the whales. Five. It, it's five, I think. No. Th- 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 yeah, three search for Spock. Three search Fox, four is with the whales. Yeah. Five, five was it's, a, it's five. I think it's five is Undiscovered. No, country. five was a dud. Then six was, un- was Undiscovered Country. Maybe you're no, right. What was I, the I didn't one? make it to six after five. I gave up after fucking three. Maybe I don't have the subtitle <laughs> right. What was the one where 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 the, where the, uh, the Klingon moon exploded? Which one was that? That wasn't Undiscovered Country. No, that was a great one. I'll look that up for me and your son, Jeff, later. Those fucking movies are good, though, dude. Live long. Yeah, I never watched any of them either. They nah. just like I never liked Star Trek on TV, and I never watched the first Star Sulu. Trek was rough. I heard Sulu yeah. was mad about uh, gay Sulu. Yeah, I like his reasoning. Oh my! What was his reasoning? I, I didn't. I just his I saw the reasoning headline. to me totally fucking. And I don't care that they made Sulu gay. It doesn't matter to me at all. Right. But like to me, I liked his reasoning because only a gay person could say this and not be like homophobe. Right. But it's a fucking. It's a good reason, which is like that wasn't Gene Roddenberry's vision. Like Gene Roddenberry. Research these characters. He he said he was meticulous about setting up and planning each character. And if he wanted Sulu gay, he would have made Sulu gay. Right. He's like so respect. He's basically saying respect Gene Roddenberry's vision. But I mean, ha- hasn't there been many characters? Like, are all characters still the same as? Well, that's a character that he created. Is what uh, Sulu okay. was saying. He was like, make another character gay. And have him be front and center, but like, don't take what Roddenberry did and twist it around to be political for the moment, right? Which I I I don't care either way whether they make Sulu gay. It doesn't matter to me at all. But I respect that somebody is respecting that original vision. I kind of like that, even though if it's like kind of on a soft stand. <clears throat> and why Sulu? Why not make because the real Sulu is, is they were they were right. actually doing it as a nod. Oh, to it was him. a nod to him, and he's yeah. like, "Fuck you." He was like, "That's not." He he said, "I'm flattered. I appreciate it, but I don't think you should have done it because that's not what Gene Roddenberry would have liked." Got you. So I like that. I kind of I kind of like the idea of somebody being like, "Hey, man, it's not it's not the creator's vision." Hmm. You don't see that anymore, Walt. He's like, "Oh my, no." And deal if, with it. And if you like that, <laughs> you're deemed old mm-hmm. and, and out to pasture. Oh my god! I got called old today. I was on. Uh, I was on the way back from the Asbury Pod Fest that we did, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and uh, I was on my bike, and there were um, my motorbike, not my bicycle, and there were there were uh, uh, a jazzy yeah, motorbike. Yeah, I was, I was on a scooter I stole from fucking Walmart. <laughs> um, there were a, a group of uh, black youths, probably like. Uh, I don't know, maybe 10, like riding the, not 10 years old, but like 10 of them. 10 of them. Yeah, probably like 14, 15 riding their, their bicycles and shit. Right. And, uh, one of them looked at my, you know, he saw me coming by and he goes, yo, nice bike, pops. And I was like, pops. <laughs> well, that's not really disrespectful. Oh, no, I didn't think it was disrespectful. Oh, right. oh, no, 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 not at all. But I was like, do I look like a pops now? Am I old enough to be pops? 
Yes. Pops Johnson? Yeah. yeah, sure. You didn't think so? Really? No, because Sage calls to Edgar a 15 Pop. year old kid? What? I said Sage calls Edgar Pop. Right, but you could be, you could easily be Pop to, you could easily have a grandchild right now. Well, if you had a kid when you were 20. Right. And then that kid had a kid when they, when they were 20, you'd have an eight year old grandkid right now. And that's how they used to do it back in the day, buddy. Yeah. So, yeah. Pop. Look at your face. You're really coming to a realization right now. I'm old. (laughs) But I I think you're looking at this the wrong way. Like, I like the fact that a group of fucking teenagers were like thinking you were cool. That's the fucking way I'd frame that. Yeah. Oh, it it didn't bother me. But I I mean, in terms of like, I mean, look, I know nobody's looking at me and being and thinking like I'm on my way to college (laughs) on my motorcycle. But, (laughs) but yeah, pops, I wasn't, I didn't know. But I guess, yeah, gray beard and. Well, Even if you waited till twenty four, and your kid waited till twenty four, you could still have a grandkid. Mm-hmm. Would you? What is it enough to make you go like maybe um, Menon on the beard? Oh, like jet a lot black of men and just no, leave my hair the rest. Of the <laughs> <laughs> <Pull> my mic. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> you know, but maybe get something that's a little bit closer to that would to your, the original hair color. And maybe put it a little bit in the beard. It could make oh. it could add or subtract. I should say. Yeah, go from pops to peeps. Twenty five years. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, so I put well, twenty five l- years. That's a lot. Maybe. Yeah, uh, people are like, <laughs> "Hey, are you old enough to buy this liquor?" <laughs> Maybe ten years. It's all on your shirt. And shit. Ten years. I think that if I um, <laughs> you buy a beer say? and there's all like there's like shoe polish on your shirt, and your beard. And like, are you old enough to buy this, young man? Um, I, I think if I cut the beard, I would immediately look. Younger. Oh yeah, you know that's a that's a big part of it. Right, but I'm not wanting you to cut it. But if you had, but if you dyed it. Uh, like a tan, like like the, the color that it like beige. You know the color it was. <laughs> the same color as my skin. <laughs> when you were in your in your thirties, why, um, why such a right. long face? <laughs> you, but it's, you, the the pops comment is enough to uh, to. You have to do his hair too, though. Yeah, but it's what not- color is my hair? By the way, I can't figure it out. Gray. Like, is it gray? Is it blonde and gray? Is it's blonde it and gray? Blonde yeah. and gray. Okay, yeah, it's, gray. it's like a sandy gray. Yeah. Sandy gray, an all new color, <laughs> but mostly gray. It's pop gray, yeah. Pop gray. <laughs> I'll t- I'll take pops. Yeah, like if my nickname now became pops, I'd be all right with that. Pops Johnson. Yeah, I'll call you pops okay. if you want. <laughs> but you got from here on out, pops. Pops. That actually brings me to something else that I wanted to talk to you guys about. All right, I'm going to need you to only refer to me as Colonel Brian Quinn. Oh, I saw something about this. Or the Colonel, please. From <laughs> now on, the that goes for all the ants listening. From now on, uh, please only refer to me as uh, Colonel that, or the Colonel. Do they still have Colonels in the military? Well, let me tell you something. I once. thought I meant like Colonel Sanders. Yeah, exactly like Colonel yeah. Sanders. That's but, uh, right. But let's say in war, is there any more Colonels left? Or, is it, or are they oh, just, sure. just still colonels? colonels? He, he won a chicken eating contest at Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> no, right there. I'm sorry. That is a certificate, an official certificate from the governor of, of Kentucky, which reads, uh, all to whom these present shall come greeting, know ye that honorable Brian Quinn is commissioned a Kentucky colonel. And I hereby confer this honor with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Now he signed it and then – and then what he crossed out your name and put Chandler Riggs' what name in. What did you do in Kentucky to uh, to become to be dubbed a, a colonel? Uh, it is ge- granted to people who um, either do like great works for the state of Kentucky or great cultural uh, impression on the state of Kentucky. Okay, um, yeah. uh, can we get more specific? So you did a show in Kentucky, and he was like, hey, "I just cool. think they like did you uh, comp tickets to the fucking no. mayor of." Or the governor of Kentucky? Kentucky Colonel is the highest. <laughs> Pay for play? <laughs> Listen to me. Kentucky Colonel is the highest title of honor bestowed by the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Commissions for Kentucky Colonels are given by the governor and the secretary of state to individuals in recognition of noteworthy accomplishments uh-huh. um, and outstanding service to a community state of the nation. You understand what I'm talking about here? I mean, they, they act it. like he saved like a bunch of miners or something. What did you do? Like perform a show there? What did, or did you, you do? I, I just think that, you know, in general. Okay. So 
So you're equating this more with KFC kind of? Than, I'll tell you some of past people. Than military-esque? Is it more about KFC than about the military? No. Will you come out right now and will you condemn? <laughs> you know Stephen Fry is? And put it oh, yeah. to the to Kentucky the, Colonel. The KFC. Really? Hunter S. Thompson, Kentucky Colonel. You're in good company so far. Fucking yeah. Will you condemn the KFC Colonel, though? Dave Thomas, Round the Wendy's, Kentucky Colonel. Well, that makes sense. And their long rumored conspiracy about. Um, uh oh. <laughs> 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 that, <laughs> that there's an association between Colonel Sanders and the Ku Klux Klan and has been a racist organization ever since. Sir! <laughs> Sir! KFC? We colonels do not discuss internal matters with non-colonels. <laughs> so, all right. I don't think said. any of those colonels are here much alive. You want to talk about the Illuminati? I'm looking up, right? There is a K- KFC conspiracy... Mm-hmm. Involving the the Ku Klux Klan, and um, how dare you besearch my name, sir? <laughs> <laughs> uh, conspiracy, sir. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess he wants to keep it quiet. Oh, you're not willing to even uh, to even come oh, out right now, even sir. though the honorary c- colonel is now even no, clouded. No, no, not your, honor. That's probably part no, of no, his no. job. I'm not an honorary colonel. <laughs> I'm not an honorary <laughs> colonel. I'm a Kentucky colonel. In that's Kentucky. not honorary. That's an official title. And what is what is the uh, what is the your duties as a colonel? Nothing. What do you have to do to maintain <laughs> your colonel status? It's a lifetime, other than it's a be a mouthpiece status. for the fucking the <laughs> KFC Corporation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Short sure doesn't say Grand Wizard on that. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him, Steve, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> This has been a production of Smodco Internet Radio. Sir, only at Smodcast.com.